So we want to know what you like, how you know each other. Um, so how did you did you work with each other before um, working on True Detective, or were you just acquainted with each other? I think the film industry is fairly small, so we've all worked <laughs> worked with each other on different projects in different roles, and um, yeah, yeah, mm. we've worked in thin, on, ice. in thin ice together. A documentary, yeah. something. Or, yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it, I yeah. think it's the first time I'm in a production with mm. no more bone. Yeah, bone. I I usually work behind the scenes. Yeah, so yeah. I am usually on a production producer team. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I've worked with all of you. <laughs> yeah, as a producer, producing assistant or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it your first audition, like audition acting role? Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Cool. Pretty cool way to start. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The raw talent of Greenlanders. <laughs> Jump. Uh. <laughs> how was the audition process for you? Like, how did you find out about the audition or the casting of Two Day? I was uh, on vacation in Denmark when the Julia Wiet, the casting director from Denmark, she asked me to to do a scene. Hmm? And I was a hunter, uh, and I tried, and then I got approved. So, but it has to get through uh, HBO before oh. I was, how we say, good and approved. Approved, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Did you have to go through the? I'm sorry. To no, it's fine. It's just a conversation. Do the um, what's it called? The coaching. So Speaking coach. Speaking coach. Yeah. I have to sound more American. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to do the R. R. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I was asked also with, from Julia Viet. Mm -hmm. And she contacted me and asked if we could do a general um, self tape. Mm -hmm. And I did that, and after a while, she called me seven o'clock in the morning. Great. Yep. I had just taken a shower and like, good morning, like just my face, like Ale. <laughs> <laughs> and she said that I needed to do another audition for a bigger role, but uh, I did that, and then I met Kelly and Isa on um, Zoom and did another audition, but they chose someone that is older mm -hmm. because the character was older. So, mm -hmm. and I got this part, um, Alma. What a compliment. Yeah. They needed someone older. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really, really awesome. They're like, I got an email, the director wants to meet you on Zoom. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and my son, he was so happy. And he was at home when the audition was happening, and then he came and waved. <laughs> like, um, that's my son. <laughs> so, but yeah, I got. Uh, then we got uh, an email that said that we I didn't get the part, and I was like, okay. But Julia texted me if you get another part, would you be able to participate? I was like, yeah, sure. And then I got the Alma part and. Mm -hmm. Had lots of fun. Mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I was also contacted by uh, Julia and Messenger, <laughs> and um, I was skeptical because I was like, I'm not an actor. That's what I thought, and she kept writing me, oh, will you please do a self tape? I was like, yeah, no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Um, and she kept writing me, can you please just send me a tape? And I sent a tape, and then I went to Kokut for four days. Um, and was like, yeah, whatever. And then I had signal and I just saw it. Julia spammed me. <laughs> Why are you not answering me? <laughs> like, she was so frustrated with me. And then, yeah, she wrote that Isa director wanted to speak to me and about a bigger role. And I was like, why? You know, I, I, I didn't really identify or see myself as an actor. I've always been behind the scenes mm -hmm. working on script or production. So it was really surreal to me. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, I sent a new tape. Uh, 
and then yeah i think she called me on facetime it was really <laughs> weird and i think the first period of time i didn't really understand what was happening so i think yulia was more excited than i was the first <laughs> I was like ha ah. <laughs> but there was no mm -hmm. signal in kokut that's why exactly. it took 4 days before. yeah yeah and you know i didn't expect <clears throat> to get a call back or anything because i yeah uh, yeah i did not expect that at all mm -hmm. so <laughs> but was it a long process like did mm. it take a long time or I think the whole thing was within a few yeah, weeks I don't or remember a month. it as I, being a long period yeah. of time. Mm -hmm. I think usually I think I expected it would be longer because mm. usually when <clears throat> yeah uh, you do castings it takes forever mm. you know to mm -hmm. then it's do another round of mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. The casting process. I think I felt it was pretty fast. Yeah. 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 I don't remember how how long, but it felt fast. Yeah. Well, uh, within three months from the uh, the casting to the to approval. filming. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, three weeks for me for the casting period, but then I had to be quiet for like a month. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's a long time to be yeah, quiet. Yeah, the being being <laughs> quiet afterwards and yeah. meeting cuz I mean we meet each other all the time, right? Yeah. And I remember meeting you and I already knew that I got a part and I was like mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Yeah. You know, I felt so rude, but I was like if I if I talk to you, I'm going to spill accident to the to say something. Yeah. <laughs> and I was telling you about my casting yeah. process and, and I had gotten uh pass mm. at that time and she was like and then we met again <laughs> and she was like i'm so sorry last time was so rude i was like yeah but it was okay like, <laughs> yeah, i get it yeah. <laughs> yeah to keep a secret of this big news is yeah difficult mm. yeah yeah a production at this scale is It's quite how do you say secret, secret. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I only knew my my part. I don't know the story, what happened before or after. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's what happened. Oh, you're dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about you? The casting? Yeah. I was in I was in Kongno, um, the first time Yulia um, contacted me and asked if I could do a self tape, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be home then that, that day. Is that okay? No, we kind of need it like ASAP and I was like okay shit and then I had to do the the cast and there was two scenes I had to send in on self tape mm. and um, one of them I did with my sister and whenever I have to be serious with my sister it just becomes like <laughs> 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 so it took quite a lot of um, a lot of tries and then the second scene was the uh, Der Blödwist The second scene was the one on on the phone with the screaming, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I was like, "Yeah, that's gonna be fun." <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah, again, it, it a few days, and then they contacted me again for the accent um, <laughs> ac ac dialect coach. Dialect coach, yeah, <laughs> and we did a round of that, and then I didn't hear anything. I don't know for how long, and then they were like, "Yeah, send in another tape." And for that other tape, I was again in Kongno, mm. um, and it again had to be, you know, done, be done really fast. And then I don't remember how long the time span was, but I remember it as quite fast. And then, yeah, she called, you'll do called, and said I got the part, and yeah. How did that feel? Like getting a surreal, part yeah, <laughs> a bit surreal, and um, I don't know. That's yeah, it's strange. Somehow. Yeah, yeah. I I don't remember if I was like yeah or like what it was, but like um, it was it was very surreal, and of course I was really happy to get the part. But it's also at that point I I was like okay, I know that this is big. This mm. is a huge production. Um, great actors, and you know it's it's gonna be huge. But mm. at that point I didn't know how how huge. Mm. If that mm. makes any mm. sense. Um, but yeah, and then having to keep it a secret for such a long time, um, that was kind of challenging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. And also yeah. because it's such great news that yeah. you want to share. Exactly. Mm -hmm. To people, like when I got the, uh, um, the mail or Yulia called me, I think she said that I got the part. I was like, 
okay, um, thank you. And I hang up, I was like, okay, I think I'm going to Iceland now. <laughs> then I went to my son's father, I was like, uh, it looks like I'm gonna go back and forth to Iceland. Mm -hmm. He's like, you got the part? I was like, yeah, I got the part. <laughs> <laughs> I had to inform him, like, I'm traveling quite a lot. He was like, how much? I don't know, I'll get the details. And then I got the t details, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be away for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, uh, I have to be uh, gone if, for the first audition, the bigger part, mm -hmm. uh, the older person. Uh, I had to be away for almost five months. Mm -hmm. So I had already asked him, would that be okay mm -hmm. if I got a part that required that I was away for five months? Mm -hmm. And he said, that's okay, uh, you'll we'll come visit or something. Mm -hmm. But it turns out I was only away for only for almost three months. Mm -hmm. And you have, uh, when I have a son that's 10, it's quite that's a okay. long time. Mm -hmm. And also for you. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was difficult because it was my son's birthday while I was in Iceland. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Life happens when you're filming. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but we had lots of fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know that you're a big Jody fan. How was it knowing that you were supposed to meet her? I knew that she was gonna be in the production, yeah. but I also know when you do like a TV series mm -hmm. or a filming, mm -hmm. sometimes you don't meet the people mm -hmm. that you're gonna be in the film with. Mm -hmm. So I was really, really excited to see the part of the scripts that I would be participating in mm -hmm. to see, okay, I wonder if I'm gonna have a scene with her or is she gonna be on the cast in one of the days? That was really, really exciting. So I was looking mm -hmm. at the script, I was like, then I saw her uh, name, Danvers. Mm -hmm. I was like looking at my script, I was like, Danvers. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna call my mom. I was like, oh, I can't call my mom, she's dead. <laughs> 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 so I was like, okay, who am I gonna call? My best friend, like, I have a scene with don't say this, but... <laughs> <laughs> and it was really, really nice to meet her. And she's like... She's a bit taller than you, though. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first day when you, you, we had a scene together. Mm -hmm. We were just going in like, where is she, where is she? You were like, there she is, there she is. Where? Where? <gasps> She's no. right there. <laughs> She's so small. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny. And I'll be honest, okay, sorry, but I'll be honest. I was looking at, is she natural? That's what my first. Is she what? Natural. <laughs> like, does she have Botox or anything? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the first thing I checked. I was like, studying. She's her natural. Face. <laughs> 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 I was quite surprised over the height of her. It's yeah. like, uh, I had one scene with her and I was like, yes, I'm going to meet Joey. So, we meet him, it's like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but then we did the scene and uh, when they said action, I thought, hello Clarice. But yeah. I, say, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was so close. <laughs> oh my god. I do like, no, that should be so. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but Callie is also really nice yeah. because when I did the Zoom meeting with Isa and Callie, mm -hmm. I was really ah, oh, it's gonna be exciting to meet them. Mm -hmm. And such a great bunch of people mm -hmm. working at the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Isa, she was so cool. She, she yeah. could remember every mm -hmm. crew's name. Was like mm -hmm. whoa, mm -hmm. so calm, cool, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> How about you, Eka? How was you got a pretty big role and yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, I was a nerve wreck mm -hmm. for the first few months. Um mm -hmm. because I, I I was there for six months, I think. Uh and I they flew me in first time with um yeah, there was going to be a table read with all the investors and executives. Like, 
and uh, no, and uh, I was sweating so much. I came into this room and I saw all the names and I saw the, some of the producers, you know, Jodie Foster, Barry Jenkins, uh, all of these names that you've seen in the industry. And I was like, mm -hmm. what am I doing here? I'm not, no, 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 no. <laughs> and I was, I went to the corner, the coffee corner with the snacks and just sweating and like panicking a little bit. I was like, <laughs> and then someone from behind me, so I heard you from Greenland, and I was like, ah! <laughs> Who's talking to me? And it was Jody, and I was also surprised. She's my height. I was like, oh, hi. Yes, I'm from Greenland. Uh, uh, and just yapping. I, I don't, I don't even remember what we talked about. She was just asking questions and like so calm. She was like, cool. Um, should we go sit? And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where should I, where should I go? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, and then the, the table read and cast dinner. Like we had uh, the first trip I was there was a lot of practical meeting people mm -hmm. stuff. Um, yeah, and met Kaylee for the first time as well there. Um, and Kaylee was like, "Oh, you really are my baby sister. <laughs> like she's <laughs> super tall." Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, and she saw me and she was like, yeah, "You know." <laughs> but yeah. Did you meet each other before? Like meeting each other in real life, like on Zoom or did you do an audition? With uh, no, no, I did not. Uh, I, I <clears throat> didn't have contact with anyone else besides uh, the yes. casting director Yuri and mm. um, and then Isa mm. wrote me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. And um, and then we came there. Yeah, playing Alaskans. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Was it difficult like practicing the? Dialogue accent, what do you call it? Like American. I think um, for me, me and Kaylee, we had to match somehow. And she's from Rhode Island mm. with a really thick accent, and it gave her a lot of shit for that too as well. But and then I had tried to match that, and <laughs> uh, you know, there were so many times we we're like, okay, I don't know how. We can also just say that we were apart for a while uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> during the time, like we were like. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I, I don't have an East Coast accent at all, and I have, yeah, no, yeah, it's hard, but it's also a fun process. Mm -hmm. I think it was really funny working with Jameson, our mm -hmm. dialogue coach, mm -hmm. she, like, all, yeah, um, really, really fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she was actually the one that I spent most time with. Yeah, <laughs> and Lee as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Lee, I'm a person. Yeah. yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. yeah. She is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Lee still calls me sometimes and writes me. Like, oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. They wrote to me in LA, uh, having a little party at uh, Lee's place. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, we were busy. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was the, like, going on set? Like, I can imagine it was, like, a pretty big set and all these people and, like, how was the experience? Like, was it a surreal experience for you or? Or for me, it was uh, the first day of uh, shooting. For me, was uh, I saw a big crane like this, and there was a camera on the end of it, and I think there was 10, 15 trucks. It was like, shit, man, this is big. Mm -hmm. And I came to the place, and uh, I was like, fuck, man, this is big. So they came to me, and uh, you have to walk, um, and then you look, and you think, fuck it, or something like that. And, uh, did it. it was tough for you. This shit. We were done. But what? But <laughs> the scale of it is compared to Greenlandic productions. Like we have to carry all the things. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're part of the crew, a part of the cast. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was wild yeah. to me as well. Like mm -hmm. yeah, here when we work on productions, you have like five things that you're doing, and yeah. here you have a function like a light. And he has free assistance. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. It's like, oh, what? <laughs> That's yeah. insane to us, yeah. Mm -hmm. What I thought was interesting was that there were more people behind the camera than in front of the camera. Because usually here in Greenland, there are more people on camera behind, than behind the mm -hmm. camera. Because you have to be the cameraman, someone has to be the light, and someone has to be the uh, sound oh, yeah. and then you have five actors on stage <laughs> like yeah. but there it was like 
so many people. Mm -hmm. They have people with toothbrushes to fix the snow. It's like, reset! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And sometimes here you have to do your own makeup. Mm -hmm. Like, when you wake up, you get, you eat, you get picked up by a car, you go to the trailer, and you wait the in this hot, hot trailer. Yeah. And testing. And after that, you get your paper, and then you go to the makeup trailer, and you sit there for until when you're done, mm -hmm. and then you go back to your trailer, and then you go on set, and like so many people. Mm. I think it was also because it was in, it, I mean, COVID, and we had to sit quite isolated from each other. And yeah, I think that was a bit of a. It's a special feeling when you know that you know in the trailer next to you like would be you or you know I remember one time just visiting you and sitting and knitting in the trailer because yeah yeah like, okay I can't sit in this trailer anymore alone you know I don't yeah. want to eat another meal alone yeah. <laughs> yeah it was a lot of waiting time yeah, yeah. and it mm -hmm. makes sense that they took all these COVID measures mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. makes total sense mm -hmm. and yeah. we had to test each day and yeah, <laughs> yeah. But also sometimes, like, the Inuit culture is very much like, we are together. Like, we don't, like, sometimes it would be weird if someone is right next to you, but you don't yeah. talk. And sometimes we would just be, like, outside and talking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and talk. And then they would say, there's a bigger space over there, or oh, then let's just all go over there. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. I remember one time I was in my trailer and Fiona Shaw was next to me. I could hear her, and I was, you know, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, yeah. so I was like, yeah. I was freaking out. I was like, mm. I was calling my sister, I can hear Aunt Petunia yeah. next <laughs> to me, oh, she's nice. right there. And then I was like, oh my god, I want to talk to her, and then we went to makeup, and she was next to me, and I couldn't say anything. Yeah. I was just staring at her. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. That was um, special. Mm -hmm. special. Yeah. Also all this Inuit energy that was on set. Yeah. Uh, the Canadian Inuit, the Alaskan Yupiks and Inupiaks and Kadashi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We have a lot of things in common, so mm -hmm. there was a lot of laugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jameson told me that uh, when you had your birthday, I yeah. went to Jameson, hey, Anima, she has, she has birthday. Yeah, I can hear them laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I turned 40. I was like, okay, I'm gonna turn 40 all alone in Iceland. And I texted you, and I texted you, where are you gonna be? You were there, right? Mm. I was there for something different, actually. Yeah. 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 But in you Iceland. had to go up north. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. we didn't get to meet, but I spent time with Yari. Mm -hmm. And we were four Inuit, one from Canada, no, two from Canada. No, two from Alaska and one from Canada and me, and we just drove around and mm -hmm. had good food and, yeah. And we laughed and laughed and laughed. Mm -hmm. The first AD, Richard. Huh? So, uh, Richard, first AD on set, always like, Oh, yeah. Ladies, <laughs> be <laughs> quiet, <laughs> please. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a dark <laughs> series, like a very dark story. Yeah. But I think that's how we Inuit we overcome those dark stuff. Mm -hmm. Like when we can begin to laugh at it, then we're moving on. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. so, yeah. That's a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a bit. I was. I was. Um, I think it was only one scene where I was with other Inuit people, mm -hmm. and my first day on set, I had had a. Um, photo shoot session mm -hmm. where I had to take all these selfies mm -hmm. for the for the I don't I'm not gonna bring any spoilers with this right no no I've, I've seen that yeah, yeah okay and I had yeah I, I had to take a bunch of selfies I've never in my life taken more selfies <laughs> than that you know and then seeing it in the trailer where Jodie Foster is looking at my selfies I was like yeah, totally. <laughs> She's looking at a picture. <laughs> um, so that was like the first thing I did um, quite early in the in the shooting period because they needed all the photos for yeah for filming. And then my first day on set, 
someone came up to me and like really casually, oh, you're alive. And at first I was like, Jesus Christ, that's a funny way to meet a person. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm the dead girl. Yeah, yeah I'm alive. <laughs> How long were you in Iceland? I was there um, four times, mm -hmm. quite shortly, mm. uh, or three times. I don't remember. Mm. Um, yeah. But I feel like you're the soul of the series. Like Yeah, which was kind of funny being or like funny. I was there for so short. Mm. The people that I interacted with weren't that many mm -hmm. uh, in the production. Um, but it's like my my character is present the whole mm -hmm. the whole way through, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is like that's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I really feel like <laughs> thinking <about you>. <laughs> <laughs> What's about to happen, but seeing yeah. the, the product and it coming to life, you know, yeah. and it's not just words on a page anymore. That's yeah. amazing, and it, yeah. it's just crazy to think about how many people have worked on this production, yeah. and we're a part of it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I remember sitting at the premiere in uh, in LA. Um, we're sitting in Paramount, and it just starts, and mm -hmm. it's just like your face. And yeah, like, yeah we're we seeing it's just <laughs> hang up on screen, and then we come in, and it's just like, oh my god, yeah, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> also, I can't look. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Is that me? Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's just like yeah. They surreal. kicked my uh, chair from behind at the no. premiere. So like, uh, choo choo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, how was it for the first time you see your face on a big screen yeah. like that? How was that? Um, I think, um, yeah, no, I was super uncomfortable at first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but also because it's not like a really merry, fun character. My character is not like this, yeah. <laughs> she's having a hard time, you yeah. know, so it's also like, oh. And I remember every time I went to the makeup trailer and Flora, my um, my stylist, she was like, I'm sorry, Aka, we're gonna have to make the raccoon eyes again. Like, I always looked mm -hmm. like shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because Julia is either crying or outside or, yeah, yeah. you know. Miserable. Yeah. yeah, so I always like put it on this face, they put on this face, like, I just looked like shit. <laughs> And um, and I think people just got used to me looking <laughs> like that all the time. And I was like, Isa, could I have like one scene where I'm like wearing clothes and, uh, <laughs> and, and like look look a little happy? And, like no. <laughs> How about the blue hair? Like was that just you, or was it part of the character? Like um, that was the character. I um, always have crazy hair, but mm -hmm. I think Isa uh, on the self tape, she got I had some different hair, and she was like, "I want it blue." <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, when I came there, that's actually a lot of time went by that I was at the hairdressers all the time, mm -hmm. getting bleached. My hair was damaged, like oh, it, it was like fell off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the end of the shoot, but I mean, it fit. Julia <laughs> Navarro, mm -hmm. so I think it was all right. But now, finally, my hair is coming back, and and also yeah, I did the nursing, pregnancy, nursing mm -hmm. thing afterwards. Mm -hmm. So like, my hair was a disaster <laughs> until recently. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. What was the most like funny, like the funniest experience you had on set? Like something that is like laughable, but, like. Was on set. Awkward on, on set, set like I meeting mean, someone. We had this big uh, mining demonstration scene. Yeah. And uh, while we were filming it, uh, there was a bunch of green artists from here. Pilot and Noir, Alive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So while we were filming and they were passing by, so it's like, Pilot <laughs> uh, It's not audible in uh, the series. So it was like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, we had masks. Pilot oh. mm. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> so we could make fun also yeah. while yeah. filming. Yeah. That scene, there were so many Greenlanders in, in Iceland, in Reykjavik. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember we were sitting at a cafe, like on the main street, 
and just like one after the other yeah. was like Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, you know. I think you came in, yeah, yeah. 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 It was constantly like you couldn't walk anywhere yeah. without meeting a Greenlander. Queensland name. Na ko Lazaro. Lazaro ipido. Yeah. Yeah, we had so many. Yeah, that mining scene also. We were so many people, and we were yeah. filming like all through the night. Mm. And you were there just to visit, right? Yeah, I was just yeah. Yeah, on set. and you were I there was, because uh, I was the memory. Or yeah, you were yes. the memory. That was the first time that I also saw KB. Yeah, like we were rehearsing. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I'm taking over this. No, no, it's okay. it's okay. We were rehearsing, and they've used a, a stand-in until suddenly she was just right there, and I was like. Oh, I need to stare her down. <laughs> you know, it was so weird. That was the first time I met her. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, cut, or like the rehearsal is done. And we didn't, you know, officially say hi. It wasn't until the next scene where I officially met her. I was like, I don't, it's been so, I mean, hello, you know. <laughs> I know you, but I don't know you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I took over this. No, no, yeah. it's okay. And that mining scene, we were so many. It was really cold. Uh, yeah, it was, it was during the night, and yeah. this fake snow. Yeah. Like, it was really hard for your lungs, yeah. and so many people, so many things to coordinate for the for everyone. And we were just you know we were just laughing, mm -hmm. and we got these heaters in our fingers and our shoes, like boots, and we had to. I had to be one of the protesters that was. Pushing the police or the guard, mm. <laughs> I was like, and every time they was like, uh, record or whatever they said. Then I would just start pushing. I would be like, yeah, I get to get my anger out. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just push and push. And one one guy, he was so tall, maybe he was tallest, and he was like looking at me really, really pissed, like. And he, then this director said, God. Wow, you're strong. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you're I getting all my scene. anger. <laughs> I love that scene, though. And I yeah. think it's in the fourth episode where it, yeah. you're there. <laughs> yeah. You always look happy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was really. Yeah, I get my anger out. <laughs> and also because we laughed so much during that evening. Another. Fun scene. I remember me and Amu had, or it wasn't fun at all. It was at the lighthouse and actually kind of dark right before Julia leaves and everything. But then we had to like have this strong moment and we just kept laughing. It was horrible. <laughs> like every time I looked at it, it was just like. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to come in like, hey, ha. Like, you know, yeah. it's like super. Hey, is everything okay? <laughs> oh, they cut out that scene. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that's okay. Director Isa was like, yeah. and Richard, they were so yeah. tired because we've been. Yeah, it was at the end of the whole. Yeah. Uh, I think we had a month left or something with filming, so people were tired, you know, and we were just like. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at each other. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> and Finn was also jealous at me at the uh, backup because I came in, so then we're done. Okay. And Finn was like sitting in this all this. Why so fast? <laughs> you go. Oh, you're done. Okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh, it was also a big thing when the, when we went to the makeup trailer, and we saw uh, what's his name, Peter. The makeup. Makeup. Artist, yeah. yeah. Peter Swords King. Yeah. 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 And we was like, I've seen him somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he did makeup on Spider Man, on like, Lord, of the, Lord Rings. of the Rings. And I was like, yeah. okay, I have to be cool. Like, don't be too weird. <laughs> 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 then I went to him, can I take a selfie with you to my son? He's like, so nice. He's like, yes, of course. Yeah. And yeah, mm -hmm. such yeah. great bunch of people we were yeah. working with, like so the whole sweet. bunch. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Really like, nice. there were no bad apples. Mm. <laughs> Only us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I also think it's like 
when you have a good director or like when you have a good leader of a group not a boss but a leader mm -hmm. that really really sets the tone of how everybody is going to be yeah and i think isa did great in mm -hmm. doing that yeah picked mm -hmm. a great team and and i'm very very grateful for that mm -hmm. she's yeah. very inspiring yeah yeah, yeah. exactly mm -hmm. so yeah strong lady there was a bunch of strong ladies mm -hmm. so, yeah, and I felt like all the like cast and crew, we wanted it so much mm -hmm. to, to be good. You know, we, I think uh, Isa was also good at setting um, or like sharing this feeling that it's also our story. We are a part mm -hmm. of this. I, I felt mm -hmm. ownership over mm -hmm. it, and yeah, there was a space for that, and I really yeah I appreciated that a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> It means a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it does. But did you spend a lot of time with the other actors, like the other Greenlanding actors? Like, or did you mainly spend time with the... We drank a lot of coffee. Yeah, we had lots of <laughs> coffee. And we went to a lot of... Um, food places. Food places. <laughs> because these two were pregnant in the, <laughs> at the last leg of the episode, like when we were filming. Like we were in Akureyri for a week or mm. 10 days. Yeah. And they were both pregnant and I had been oh, sick, so I hadn't God. eaten for quite a long time. Oh yeah, you got Because sick. I was sick yeah. for in Reykjavik in these expensive hotels for like five days all by myself. Mm. So when I went to Akureyri and met them, they were both pregnant. So I had, we ate all the time in the cafe, <laughs> Cafe Ilmur we were at. <laughs> so we had, oh. So if you ever go to, I could already go to Cafe in Mood. It was really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. That was a nice place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice owner also. I think yeah. that trip also, when we came to Akrari, I was wearing a pair of pants and when we left, the same with you. Yeah. I couldn't get into those pants because that's <laughs> the time where my belly kind of went, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. I was three and a half, four months pregnant yeah. when we were, were there. And you had a big showing belly when you had to go the last time. Yeah. Yeah. How mm. did that go? I didn't, I don't know. Um, well, it's a bit challenging to film when you're pregnant, I have to admit that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you can agree to that as well. Yeah. Mm. Um, pretty much the whole, all the filming days I was there, I was actually pregnant. The first time when we were doing that um, protest scene, mm -hmm. I was pregnant very early on, mm -hmm. and I couldn't tell anyone at all. Um, and then the other two times when I was in Iceland, I was pregnant, obviously pregnant there as well. And the last trip there um, was definitely challenging. But I mean, in a big production like th like this, they have it all. Co I mean, covered, and, and uh, that way they kind of could help in in making it more or making it easier for, for me and the, and the rest of the production. We, I had a stunt double mm -hmm. um, and a body double actually also in the series, um, which is also kind of cool, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super nice stunt double. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a, such a trippy thing to have a stunt double. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was also like, um, but also because they look like my stunt up, like her body was yeah. like completely like mine. And yeah. I was like, how? How yeah. is that possible? Yeah. And, oh, uh, yeah. Mm. I was I was watching her doing her, the stunts and everything. And I was like, I'm, I'm, what am I doing there? And I was like, you know, at the end of the day, just like, thank you for making me look so cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> it looks like, I mean, thank you, because it looks like me, but. Um, you're the one doing all the cool stuff and you're making me look really cool, thank you. <laughs> I remember I um, have the scene with Jody, and uh, at first I was told that I was going to do it with her stunt double. And, mm. um, and I was um, practicing like with the, the stunt crew, and, um, and right before we got on set, then um, Jody is there, and I was like, Am I punching Jodie Foster? In a bit? <laughs> I thought it was a stunt double, but no, it was her. Um, and I was like, no, I can't do that. I can't. I, 
am, am I gonna? <laughs> yeah. I was staying at a hotel with uh, the guy who played Oliver Chagai, mm. uh, mm. and he told me a story that um, the day we were gonna film uh, at the village where Dan Merson to come to the village, and um, he thought that he, he was looking at a middle-aged Icelandic woman who was just staring oh. at her. Then he realized, fuck man, it's Julie Foster. <laughs> <laughs> she must think I'm a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> and they had to film the, the scene mm -hmm. during the day. <laughs> How did your families react to your like roles or to this news of you being cast? I um I had a kind of a weird, weird evening one day when or, um, so I had to send in some pictures of me looking dead. Mm. And my parents were moving down here to Nook, so they were staying with us for a week or two, and it was while they were staying with us. So they were on the couch watching TV, and I was like, okay, I have to take these pictures. And, you know, I put my, my lamp, what do you call it, like light in my living room. My parents were like, that's kind of weird, but okay, they were just watching the TV and I set it up and, and then I, you know, put a towel here because I had to, you know, take pictures like this and look dead. And then, <laughs> you know, they were still like, I still hadn't told them because I was like, I don't really know how much I can or should tell my parents and it was so early in the whole process. So while they were watching TV, I was just over here taking like, <laughs> and I had I had been given the instructions like eyes just a tiny bit open and just a little bit on and relax the face and just like keep to and I oh, it doesn't look really good. <laughs> and I think I asked my mom if, if she could take some pictures and still not really explaining what exactly was going on and it, I was like, okay oh they look yeah look dead and okay yeah thank you and then I just put it all away and they were like what was that? You know? <laughs> but it's it's kind of weird, like how much do I tell? And also because I really wanted my parents to watch this. Mm. But it's also, I mean, my mom has seen me in roles where I cry and that's, that's hard for someone, you know, for a mom to see. Mm -hmm. And then this kind of death, which is a horrible, horrible mm -hmm. death, you know, and I'm like, I really want you guys to watch it, but I understand if you're not going to. But mm. they're watching it, mm. thankfully. Oh. And, mm. you know, reassured that I'm okay. Yeah, it's but just it must be heartbreaking yeah. seeing their yeah. daughter, you know, like stabbed that. 32 times mm. and... Oh. Don't out. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm. yeah. No. And it's also, it's such a, I mean, big, big and heavy subject as mm. well, you know, missing and murdered indigenous women and there's so much gravity to it mm. um it's uh yeah mm. i don't know how to when, yeah mm. heavy okay. heavy role and heavy um subject that yeah it's an it's it's i don't know mm. it makes sense yeah, yeah. It perfectly. Mm. yeah. It's a tough story. Mm -hmm. Like I said, when I was auditioning mm -hmm. and I was doing my Zoom audition, my son peeked and said hello to Isa and Kelly, and he was so proud. And I told my friends when I was able, and we are watching it. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't go to Los Angeles, I was like, we have to celebrate this. Mm -hmm. Like, this is such a big story to be a part of. Mm -hmm. I really, really wanted to celebrate it. So I invited for a premiere evening mm -hmm. at my place with um, and like my friends and his mm -hmm. wife and Mini. So we started a Monday group. group. Oh, so nice. we watched it every Monday mm -hmm. together because on Sundays at 12 o'clock at midnight, mm -hmm. it starts here. Mm -hmm. So we do it every Monday. So we have lots of fun. Uh, we had technical difficulties the first day, <laughs> but, but we did it. And my son, I only show him like pictures. I don't just mm. uh, the safe places because it's such a tough st uh, like stories mm. like uh, women disappearing, mm. suicide, uh, mm. murder, mm. Uh, abuse. Mm. Uh, mm. 
but still I think that it was told in such a, a um, it was weaved mm -hmm. so nicely mm -hmm. that I didn't feel that when uh, uh, Julia Navarro uh, committed suicide mm -hmm. I didn't feel oh, heavy heavy mm -hmm. I felt heavy but I felt like okay we can talk about this mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. missing women and missing indigenous women like it still happens mm -hmm. and we can still talk about it mm -hmm. and also the spirituality I think was really like this is something that we I still believe that we all share in the Inuit communities and that's why it's so nice that it's there mm. that it's not a taboo uh, even though it's a little bit scary mm. but it's still there so mm. yeah. I think it was done in a very beautiful way mm -hmm. and I'm happy to share it with people that support me so. mm. Mm. and it's such a fine line right because I mean it is a crime series like uh, mm -hmm. Like it, it's not a comedy mm. or just a drama. It's like, yeah, these, Too far, yeah, mm. um, and from the previous seasons as well, like really graphic. So I also mm. also like, at first when I was told about uh, my character, I was like, oh, I don't know, because I also feel responsible when you show that here, um, and at the same time. But then I read the script and kind of saw how and it was not like very graphic uh, and at the same time I think uh, yeah it's weaved and it's told in a specific way um, so it's more of a conversation opener and not of course can be triggering <laughs> to a lot of people but I think um, the genre and with the story in itself I think yeah it, it felt all right to mm -hmm. tell that story, mm -hmm. even though it's, mm -hmm. yeah, a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's, uh, I only got the scripts for the scenes I did, so mm -hmm. I don't know what happened before mm -hmm. or what happens after, so it's like, it's like a surprise for me every time. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah. it mm -hmm. makes sense now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was so... Right. Yeah. 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 But it's also hard to uh, to explain to the to our fan members that we're going to Iceland for for film, mm. yeah. and they don't know shit about. Yeah. What's going on. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I was also like, okay, so when people ask me how big is your role, and I'm like, mm, how can I, are you in all episodes? I'm like, mm, yes, no, yes, yes, no, you know, and oh how. Hey, That's his daughter. All <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that happened to me at the rehearsal for the um, demonstration scene. I was like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's also like such a big story. Like there are like four stories in mm -hmm. one somehow. Mm. So when I got my script, so I only knew about like Angua like what my character was supposed to do in those scenes mm. and sometimes I would get a little hint of what was going to happen before or after mm. but I didn't know the whole story so mm. every time we watch it every time I watch it I was like oh, I wonder what's gonna happen <gasps> oh my god did that really happen mm -hmm. like there are so many surprise moments mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that also makes it interesting also to be a part of because they filmed for like eight months Mm. Mm. six or eight months and then they edit it for a long time mm. yeah. so of course there are so many things that mm. they take in or take out mm. or like mm. and it carries it well I think mm. Mm. the people and also because there were so many Inuit people there mm. we had lots of fun and even though like my family didn't understand what was going on? I had these guys. Mm -hmm. Like I could tell, mm -hmm. we could be mm -hmm. with each other and yeah. understand each other and yeah. be good <laughs> 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 Yeah. Um, I want to touch on the subject of like coming from like a small community like Nuuk or wherever you're from, and going out into the big international scene and doing that how did that like feel for you like i know that you've done a lot of projects here in greenland 
but like doing something so big and like, like how did you, how can I formulate this? But how did you like feel like coming from a small community and going to LA and doing all these premieres and being like a celebrity mm -hmm. <laughs> almost like. Yeah, I think for me it's a lot about navigating within responsibility, but also uh, not feeling solely responsible. Mm -hmm. Because I think when you represent like a demographic like this or like Inuit or mm. a specific story, I think there is a responsibility in it. But at the same time, I try to remind myself, okay, it's also me. Mm. I am not responsible mm. for the whole representation of our people, even though yeah. there is not a lot. I mean, I think really trying to take off that pressure because I, th I felt that pressure a lot at mm. some point and I was numb I, and I got scared mm. and I actually mm. felt like, you, you know what, I, I, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. um, so but then I talked yeah, with Kaylee and yeah, a lot of people like uh, talking about these things also mm -hmm. with the director. I was like, I get nervous because I'm, and, and the thing about small communities for me, when you come back, it can be intense if people have a specific opinion. It was like, if I mess this up and nobody <laughs> likes it, it's gonna be hard <laughs> to be here, you know? Um, so I think that's what I thought a lot about, but I also let it go yeah. because I was also like, you know what? I, yeah, wanted to enjoy it <laughs> as well. I had second thoughts about what I found out my character was Alaskan. Mm. So, yeah. me and mm -hmm. Alaskan. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I accepted it and just did it. And uh, Bitlock, uh, who plays... Uh, yeah, I said yes. He will, he will like an Alaskan, so okay, thank you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think when I found out I was going to be playing someone from Alaska as well, I was like, can I? Can, can I? You know, mm -hmm. am I allowed to or mm -hmm. allowed in, in this broad sense? But um, I think you put it really well in, in in representing your people, but also just being you, just being one person mm -hmm. um, and finding kind of like a piece when you come into a big set, a lot of eyes are on you and just being you mm -hmm. and not being um, not having to be a representation of an entire mm -hmm. nation yeah. Yeah. Um, or peoples. Mm -hmm. um, but I also think because it's a role that you put on mm. uh, as an actor. Yeah, when the camera is on. Actress, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, like, I've been on camera for quite many times, but when you're in such a small community, especially kids, they see you as that person. Mm -hmm. And um, I was always like, okay, I'm not that person, how do I explain? But then I realized, yeah, this is how people see you when you're in such a small community. Like when I saw Jodie Foster, I was thinking Clarice. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I still had to remember like, yeah, it's Danvers, like the detective Danvers, mm -hmm. you have to, because it's such a surreal um, world to be in a surreal uni universe. Mm -hmm. Like you enter, you come early in the morning as Anna Maria, and then you go to makeup, you put your clothes on, and then you're Alma. Mm -hmm. And then you go in, and then you're Alma, and then you go out, then you take off everything, then you're just yourself. Mm -hmm. And after a year, you see yourself on TV or whatever, and you're Alma, and mm -hmm. you're like, ah, that's me. But I still think I see myself like mm. Anna Maria, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and like it's still ah, mm -hmm. so we all yeah. yell or be happy, but it's still also like it's interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you take a part of you with the character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think it's easier in smaller productions to get into character mm -hmm. because, like, when when we're fewer people it feels a bit less intimidating, kind of, in a way. I don't know if you guys feel mm. the same way, but I, I do sometimes feel that it's quite easier to, to go into the room that I need to be in to play a specific character. And I think that's what I mean with going on to set 
and before anyone yells, you know, shoot and go, action, kind of taking all of this which is going on, someone comes over, fixes your hair, your makeup, your clothes, can I just take a picture and you're like, oh yeah, sure, of course, da 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 da. It, it, it takes practice, it takes um, mm -hmm. some, I don't know what kind of energy it is that I feel like I have to go into with, with you know, with a certain energy, but it, sometimes it, and I don't, I, I don't know if it's a matter of, of practice and training and, and getting used to being on these huge sets because it, it's, it is very different, but sometimes I think it's easier for me to go into the room that I need to be in when it's a small crew, when it's a small cast in a small setting. Mm. Um, but I think that's what's so great about getting into these huge productions is actually getting the practice mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we can't do that here. It's mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all the, the resources, I was really amazed by like, we had acting con consultant, mm -hmm. dialect coach, uh, intimacy, intimacy coordinator, yeah. like, and st stunt crew and, supervisors like they were mm -hmm. such a big crew and I felt really safe even mm -hmm. though some days I went to set and I was like I, I don't know I was overthinking maybe mm -hmm. part of the script or like oh, and I was like really nervous and I had it took a while for me to get into character as mm -hmm. well and like finding the connection with the other actor mm -hmm. um, and it was so nice because like then they would you know stop and Lee would come in and sometimes she was like Scream! And I was like, what? No. Yeah, just scream everything you can. I was like, oh. really? Yeah, and you know, and you have everyone in set with the crew, <laughs> and I was just there like, ah, <laughs> screaming. <Nice. laughs> or sometimes she would ask me to toss around everything. Like, mm. she's like, just give me some different energy than what you think you're gonna give me. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, when you have like experts. Mm -hmm. teachers like that on set that makes me feel very safe even though sometimes yeah yeah that that feeling when you're in your, in your head and mm -hmm. you're like oh my god i can't i can't make this scene work or mm -hmm. and then you're like oh no oh no the camera oh no you know, this yeah, whole yeah. spiraling down if it feels bad from the beginning and then just snapping out of it because you have people who can help you get out of that mm -hmm. spiral i think mm -hmm. That made me feel safe, mm -hmm. uh, even though it's also intimidating mm -hmm. in a lot of mm -hmm. sense. But I think for me that was, yeah, mm -hmm. as the production went by, yeah, mm -hmm. felt that security. And I also feel that there was room for making mistakes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was room for retakes. There was room for like talking about different stuff. And there was this calm even though we were in such a big store. Mm -hmm. Like, I was in a group of, I think we were 11 in a group, and we are so many. Mm. Oh, David. <laughs> mm. oh. And we were so many. Oh, but still, you had to be your own yeah. in the group. Mm. True. And I think, for me as an actress, like, who's my part? How does she walk? Mm -hmm. And when I get to that, what's her clothes, her makeup? Like, mm -hmm. I don't have facial tattoos, mm -hmm. but I had on the set. Mm -hmm. And people were like, they didn't notice because it was a part of the character, mm -hmm. but also so much a part of myself somehow because I look very much like a Kalala. And mm -hmm. it's like you have your own, and mm -hmm. but nobody thought it was weird. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My name is Nivi Pillison and I play Anne Masukotak. The people of Ennis call me Annie K. Uh, my name is Aka Niviana and I play Julia Navarro, Trupa Navarro's sister. Oh. Can you see what you want to do? So, I'm not coordinated that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Anna Maria Otterson and I play Alma Lighthouse. I tell you, I can help. Hello, my name is Alma Larsen and I play Dominic Pitka, their hunter. You know, yeah. 
Can we do for Anna Maria again? Hi, my name is Anna Maria Otterson and I play Alma Lighthouse in True Detective. Tacos! Tacos. Tacos.